Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your no repeat dumbbell burn workout. This is a full body workout using your dumbbells where we're gonna start back to basics and then we're going to build it all in a no repeat format. As always, I'm gonna give you lots of different options so listen to your body and work to your level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and start with a little march or a jog, whatever you need to do to get the body moving, get the blood flowing, get everything ready to go. We're gonna get that body's core temperature up, get the blood flowing, muscles warm, and then we're gonna be doing some dynamic warm-up moves, mobility, and moving in those movement patterns that we're gonna be working with today. So of course, if you need more of a warm-up, please get it on your own. We're gonna keep it pretty short here today so we can get right into that workout. Let's take those arms, open out nice and wide, right through here. We can do a little shift in the side lunge right here. Big stretch to the back, getting that mobility as well. And then let's take it right here. Let's just go up and then a hinge. Take it up to the back. Again, we're not arching the back, but what we are doing is bringing those shoulders back and then hinging, driving our hips to the back. Breathe, hinge. Let's squat it down right here. Squat, little hip roll, roll it through. You don't have to get super low, but we're opening up through those hips, right here. Let's go four more. Three, yes. Two, one more, right here. We're gonna tap it back. Open up those hips again, reach up. Again, shoulder mobility. You can drop it low in the lunge if you want, or just stay up top. Can we hold it here? If you want, you can just hold it here or drop that hand down, reach it up, world's greatest stretch. Maybe you wanna do a little rotation, drop the knee, rotate through with that arm. Up to you. You find what works for you. One more. Step it back up. Out of that same thing, other side, step it back. Find that balance. If you wanna drop it down right here, reach it up, take it through. And up, there we go. From here, either walk back to all fours on your hands and knees or on those feet, little forward and back. Let's get the core warmed up, ready to go. If you're on your knees, you can just go here to here. And then if you want either child's pose up to all fours or you can go down dog to plank just to get that stretch through the back, really lift those hips to the ceiling. I know, and breathe. One more, right through here. Let's walk your hands back or walk your feet up, whatever feels good for you. You can hang out, get a little pedal of those heels. Again, hamstrings, cast all the way up and through the back, relaxing those shoulders, slowly roll it up. Back to center, here we go. All right, so no repeat, dumbbell, burn. Everything's right there in the title. We're gonna be using our dumbbells. We're going no repeat, and we're gonna feel the burn. So guess what team, no timed intervals today, which I know some of you don't love that, but it does make this workout go fast. I want you to tell me at the end if it went faster than you thought it would. And we're mostly keeping it back to basics. We're not gonna be adding on with a ton of compound moves, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add on with the move that we're doing. So mostly keeping it lower body and then upper body and then core. All right, so you don't have to watch the clock. You can just hang with me. We're gonna get it done and we're gonna make sure that you have lots of options along the way. You know what I always say, be where you are today. This is your workout, you do you. Quick sip of water if you want it. Actually, everybody get it even if you don't. And let's grab a heavy set of dumbbells. We're gonna start with a basic side lunge. And again, we're building. So we'll start with one thing, 
We'll mix it up, we'll add a little burn. I think you're gonna like it. So shoulders back, core engaged. I want you to start nice and wide because we're gonna start stationary. You can of course do this with one dumbbell or no dumbbells, just body weight. But watch me, we're just gonna shift our weight, drive up through the center, shift the weight. Join me right here. Here we go. So you're shifting to the side. What I want you to focus on is, it's both a squat motion for that leg and then a hinge motion, right? So you're driving it up and through. Take it here and up, here and up, right here. All right, team, so you can keep it here or step out into it, right? We're alternating. So now it's an alternating. We had a stationary alternating. Now we've got an alternating side lunge. And you can go slower than me, especially if you have heavier weights. I got my 15s. But you might need to go slower if you're heavier or slower if that's where you are. Breathe. Now can we take it all to my right, your left? Here we go. Step into it. Step out of it. Right here, same side. Step in, step out. Yes, you can. And breathe. Four more, just like this. Four. And up. I know that heart rate's gonna get up either way. Two. All right, team. Can we pulse for three and drive it up? Here we go. Pulse three, two, one. Same side. This is it. Three, two, one. And burn. Three, two, one. Drive it up. Let's go four more this side. I know it's gonna feel like a long first circuit, but then your hands get a break. Breathe. Into that hip, yes you can. Boom. Last one. Now we're taking it to that other side. Singles right here, hang with me. If you need to drop those weights, you can. There's only eight right through here. Take it down. Hand up, whoo, down. Four more, four, breathe, I know. Three, two, we got those pulses right here. Here we go, hang with me because you know you're almost done. Three, two, one, pulse to the side. So it's not just here, it's here. Yes, whoo, can you get low? I know, as we're getting tired, it feels whoo, like we can't get as low, but to the side and down low. We got four, breathe, ha, three, yes, two, Last one, boom. All right, team, drop them down in the center. Take those feet nice and wide and just a little mo mobility finisher, just stretch side to side. I know, doesn't feel fair, but hands get a break. Stretch and stretch, stretch and stretch. Here we go, whoo, stay low. Getting water after this, breathe. Two, one, yes, team, grab a sip of water. I know, I know, that was a long first circuit. Listen, I put that one up top first because the rest of them are not gonna feel like that, I promise. We'll get a little burn, they'll feel a little shorter. Hmm. Let's switch our gears, whoo, right here. Two, ha. I know, I'm feeling it too, there's that heart rate. Let's switch our gears to a little bit of upper body. I want you to come with something kind of medium, right? We're gonna start with a version of a row, but because it's a longer set, maybe not what you would normally do a row with, for me that's 15s, because we're gonna mix it up, all right? We're gonna get some upper body pull on this, core engaged. We are gonna start with that regular bent over row, so shoulders back, it's a hinge here. Weights in front, bring the weights to your side, squeeze in the shoulder blades, and drop it down in three, two, one, here we go. Bring them up, drop it down. What we're watching out for, and don't worry, we're not gonna hang out in this hinge position for five minutes straight. I know you're worried about that after that side lunge sequence, right? Squeeze right here, pull those elbows in, breathe. 
Now let's rotate it. Palms to the back, palms to the front. It's still a row, it's not a curl, right? Squeeze, down in front, then pull up. You're still pulling your elbows up to the ceiling and towards each other. You're squeezing in those shoulder blades. Yes, three, two, I want you to hold it here. Little pulses in your back, pulse, squeeze. Yes, team, four, three, two, bring them in, palms in, squeeze in the shoulder blades, it's pulse, don't let go of that core. What is your core doing? Turn them to the front, this one's a little trickier, a little wider, that's why we went a little lighter, but you can do it. Four, three, two, bring it up. Alternate a curl, right? So we're gonna get little breaks for our back while we work our biceps, then we'll put some things together. Now, I know you, I told you no compound movements or compound exercises, meaning upper and lower, upper and core, but we are going to focus on upper pull together, upper push for these reasons, right? Breathe, boom, four more. We got four, three, two, can you put them together? Regular curl. Bring them up. Slowly down. Power up. Slowly down. Yes, you can. Again, turning in similar. You need to put that foot back and up. And here. Breathe. Three. I know. Two. Hold them up from here. Turn them in. We're going down and shoulders down, alternating from that rack position, right? Breathe, core engaged. Again, if you need this foot back here, down and up. This workout keeps you on your toes, right? Cause you gotta listen to me. Good, hold them halfway down. Pulse, yes, you can. Four, three, two, take them out. Pulse them up, burn. This is it for, tri for biceps. Four, three, two. Turn them up if you can last time. Breathe, burn. Four, three, two. Set them down, bend your knees, stretch them out. Again, a little mobility, right? Woo, and burn, burn. We're gonna do a little hamstrings with it. Yes, team. We're not done with our back yet. We're gonna go down, which is gonna lead us into some core. So keep stretching. Open up eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it down right here. You can go with something heavier because we're focusing on the back. I got one dumbbell right here, opposite leg. If you need to take this standing, you can just take it right here. We're gonna add a little leg lift with it or you can just do just the row. One side, opposite leg. As you lift and squeeze, you're gonna squeeze all the way down through the back in three, two, one. Here we go. So bring it up and down. If you'd rather just stick to a quadruped row on your knees, that's okay. Or again, one sided row. Breathe. Yes. Good. I want you to hold it up right here. Little pulse with the leg only. Squeeze in the back, but your upper is isometric. Your lower. Squeeze. Now hold the leg, pulse the upper. Breathe, four, three, singles, one more time, down and up, four, eight, and down, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, set the weight down while we give our back a break. I want you to lift that knee, take it down, lift the knee, right? So one leg on the ground, little lift, it's an elevator, Four, your core, yes, breathe. Watch me right here, lift it up, cross it over, in and down, just four, up, cross, and down, up, one more, stretch it back right here, give your hands a break. Yes, we're gonna get that on the other side. We're gonna finish out the back again, told you no repeat, once we're done with it, we're done with it, right here. Other leg, other arm, start with singles if you want. Ready, here we go. So if you want, 
You can also just do a standing single arm row. You could also just do a quadruped on all fours. Breathe. Yes. Hold it up. Pulse the legs. Squeeze. Flex the foot. Pulse in the glute. Four, three, two. Hold it up. Pulse the upper. So we're working all down the backside. Four, three, singles down and up. Drop it down and up. Down and up. Burn. Four, three, two, one. Set it down on your hands. Little core if you want. Up and down. If that's not right for you, take a little stretch break. You do you. Again, I promised you options. You have options. I know the no repeat format. Whew. Sweat all over is often a lot for your body. So take breathers if you need to. Up and cross. Only four. Up. Cross to the opposite elbow and down. Take it up. Cross. And down. Up. Last one. Yes. And relax. Yes, team. Grab a sip of water. We got some core. We got some upper. We got some lower. Let's take it back up top. Here we go, team. I'm going to grab my whoo, towel right off camera here. We're going to go back to some lower body. All right. So we're going to start with a deadlift. So you can go heavy with this. Watch me here. I know we just worked those back muscles, so you're going to feel it. But you're going to have those weights down in front. We're going to go here. Then we're going to add some single legs and we'll add some lunges onto that. I promise it's going to go fast, but let's get it done. Shoulders back, core engaged for three, two, one. Just your deadlift. You're going to hinge and drive it up. Try to go heavy with this, but get a feel for that motion. Hips to the back. Drive it up. Back to basics. Yes, you can. Breathe. Take it here. Getting a feel for that hinge motion. Hips go to the back. It's not just folding forward. We're actually shutting the car door with our butt, right? Weights come close to the front of the legs. And remember that little tip. Squeeze oranges with your armpits, right? That's going to help you activate those lats. Squeeze your back and keep your back flat. Breathe. Two. One more. All right, if you need to, set those weights down and watch me here. I'm gonna tell you your flow. We're gonna go kickstand. We're gonna go single if you want. Then we're gonna go curtsy lunge to regular lunge. Yes, we're getting it all, but I promise it's gonna go super fast. So grab those weights. It's not very many. Your kickstand is exactly like it sounds. Kickstand right here. Hinge it. It's still a hinge, it's still a deadlift. Here we go. Weights to the front of the leg. Drive up and through. Weights to the front of the leg. Drive up and through. Down. And up. Push into that heel. Yes. Let's go two more. And then you have the option. If you want, you can keep it right here. Maybe you're going to feel it more. Sometimes I do. To take it single leg. You can keep it kickstand or here. Woo! And here. Sometimes the balance is too much and it helps us and it makes us not as focused on that front leg. So if that's you, take it to the kickstand. We've got two more. And breathe. Curtsy right here. You're gonna step back and curtsy. Set up it up. Just your curtsy. Ready? Down and up. Right here. And here. Two more. Yes. Regular lunge. Step it back. This is it. Only six. Core engaged. If your hands need a break, just drop those weights. You're still going to feel the burn in your legs. I know. Two more. How about we hold it down? You know what's coming. Let's cross it over right here. Cross and cross. Only four. Hang with me. Make it burn. Keep those shoulders pulled back. Two. One more. Yes. Set those weights down. Ooh, that front leg is feeling it, right? Hmm. Little stretch. 
Little stretch, grab water if you need it. We're gonna get that other side. <sighs> and then we got some upper body push and some core. We are so close, team. <sighs> and breathe. Stretch those legs out. Ha, oh, there's that heart rate, right? Four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna grab those weights again. This time we're just going four of our regular, right? Because we already know what to expect. Then we're gonna kickstand it, then single leg, then curtsy, then regular, little crossover. Sounds like a lot, I know, but look how fast those 20 minutes have gone. Here we go, shoulders back, regular right here take it down drive it up again we're not going to do as many with this so we should be able to hang out of those weights down and up zip up that core at the top shoulders back all right kickstand right here and you can again you can go slower or faster than me as long as you have good form whatever you need you might need to go slower because you're heavier weights, or that's where you are, or that's your body. Your body's natural rhythm, right? Two more. Sweating like crazy, you guys. All right, you can keep it just with that, or single leg, take it down. I like to switch my grip a bit on those dumbbells. It helps me so if I get stuck, I can set them down there, but trying to keep my back flat. What I don't want is this, right? Drive up through the heel. If you need that kickstand, Take it here. Shh. Breathe. Yes. Curtsy it. You got it, team. Down. Cross it behind. So it looks like this. Cross behind. Drive it up. Whoo. Down. And up. Down. And up. Two more. Shh. And here. Shh. Regular lunge. Take it back. Drop it low. Drive it up. Remember on these, you can always just tap back. Maybe that's better for you. Maybe you can't get as low. That's okay. Or drop those weights for body weight. Two more. Burn. Yes, team. Cross it here. Take it down. Cross it over. It's a pulse. Stay low. Only two more. Keep that good posture into the heel. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Burn, oh, ah. shake it out. Again, little kicks right here. Whoo, heart rate's up. Let's take it down to the mat. Medium weights. We're gonna start with a little chest fly and do some tries. Whoo, right? All right, team, ha. Down onto your back. Let's finish this up. All right, we're gonna start with a little chest fly into tries and then we'll bring it up as we go. Let's start right here. And then we'll be down here for some core. So if you need to elevate yourself, if you need to take this standing, you can, but otherwise we're just opening out wide. Upper body push, fly to here in three, two, one. Here we go. Open wide and squeeze. Regular fly, so remember, slight bend in the elbows, Coming in like you're hugging a tree, like you're holding a beach ball, right? Cool. Breathe, I know. Down and up. Down. Breathe. Core stays engaged, so tuck that pelvis. All right, guys, we're gonna keep the fly. You can watch me one time. Fly, bring it up if you can. Tries. If that is not right for you, watch me for one more. You can just do a close grip press, a narrow press. That'll get your triceps. Here we go. So fly in tries or fly in close, close press. Right here, down, up. If you're feeling spicy, you wanna bring those feet up for a little bit of extra core, as long as you can still maintain that good form with the weights. You can take them there or you can be in that bridge. But really think about the core staying engaged. Here we go, just tries. So you're either with your press or your tricep extension, up to you. I know, it's burning. But keep it moving. Four, extend it up or down here. Three, two, 
one. Can you hold it halfway? Just hold whatever you got, team. If you need to hold them together, that works too. Not a pulse, but just a hold. Keep squeezing for four, three, two, all the way up. Hold that fly right here. If you want, bring the feet up. If you want, lift the shoulders. Take the legs out, but hold the fly. Core's in tight. Arms strong. Four, three, two. Relax it down. Yes, team. Woo, right. Little stretch. All right, so as we stretch that out, let's take our arms around. Let's circle them up. So, little snow angel, right? Start with just the arms to get that mobility so you have that break. All body weight, you can do it. If you want, add those legs out, add a little lift. If that's not right for you, you just keep with the mobility. Get the shoulders, get the chest, get the tries. And breathe. Strong core. Let's go two more. Two. And up. Hold it here, right here. Just tap those toes. You can lift the shoulders. You can take the hands behind the head if you want to rest in here. Four. Shoulders down or shoulders up. Up to you. What do you need? Take the legs out. Sort of your half dead bug or half bicycle. Let's add those arms. So dead bug, either shoulders lifted or shoulders down. Breathe. Take your time. I know it's burning. Oh, nice and tight. Your core is initiating the movement. Last thing, hands behind the head. Slow bicycle, hold, then twist. Guess what, we're back up on our feet after this. We're almost done. I know, I feel it too. Breathe, breathe. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hug those knees in. Yes, team, up onto your feet. Grab a quick sip, I know. Woo, lots of burn in that core. All right, team, so this last quick little circuit, we are gonna put some things together. So it still is gonna feel back to basics. We're gonna focus on our basic movement patterns. Hinge, pull, squat, push. but we're gonna get it all done, similar to a complex, all right? So, you just gotta follow my cues, go with something medium, something that you could do lower body with, but also that you could do a press with, as we might end with that. So, grab those weights, join me here. This is it, team. You can think of this as a bonus round, but I promise it's gonna go by fast. We're gonna start with that regular deadlift, but I want you to take your toes out. Let's make it a sumo deadlift. It's still a hinge, then we bring it up, right through here. Here we go, three, two, one. We're gonna hinge. Soft bend in the knees, it's gonna feel a little different. It's not a plie squat, it's a hinge. Shoulders back, down, and up. Squeeze right up through the center. Feel the difference in those inner thighs and the glutes. Hinge, weight stay close to the front, down. Breathe right here. Let's keep that. Let's add a reverse fly. Take it out. If you got too heavy, wide row right here. Take it down. Wide row. Squeeze it up. Take it down. Reverse fly or wide row. Up to you. For those back muscles. Last push for your back. Breathe. Or you can just alternate every other one. That's what I'm doing. Down. Yes. One more. All right, wherever you are with that row, let's just finish for eight. Or fly. Seven. You can bring those feet in. Four. Three. Two. One. Come up slowly all the way up. It's a hammer curl. Up. Yes, you can. Up and down, core engaged. 
and breathe. Yes. Boom. I know, team. All right, can we add a squat with it? We're gonna curl. Squat. Up and down. Not many. Curl. Squat. If you want, you can also rack them here. Squat. Or just pick one. Maybe you just wanna do the squat, just wanna do the curl. Two more. Yes. Last one. Can we just take it your squat? Down and up. Down and up. There's that heart rate. Yes, team. Breathe. Ha. Four. Three. Two. Up here. We're going four. Bring them in. Three. Ha. Two. I know I feel it too. Last one right here. Cross knee. Cross knee. Press. Yes, only four. Cross knee. Let's get a little core to finish it out. Two more. Yes, you can. Down, down, and up. Oh man, team, set those down. Shake it out, Ooh, tap it out. How are you feeling? Is that heart rate up? Ooh, I know mine is. Boom, boom. Take those arms up here. So finishing out, we got all of our basic movement patterns in, right? And we finish with that high heart rate. Breathe, little tap, heels in front. I bet when you saw the word burn, you thought it was gonna be all pulses and holds, maybe just a few of those, right? But for the most part, we're just thinking muscle endurance. We're thinking stamina in our muscles and our cardiovascular system. Let's stretch it right here in that hamstring, right here. Lean into that, whoo, breathe. Ha. If you want, you can circle that arm right through here and then reverse. Woo. Yes. Let's take it to that other side. Let me know in the comments, how did you feel? Did you feel like you picked the right weights? I know sometimes with a workout like this, it can be a little tricky. I tried to cue you correctly, but I know it's a little tough when we're switching in between things, but did you feel it? Did you like the back to basics burn, right? Where we're just sticking with one thing and kind of adding on a few little exceptions at the end, right? Reach behind for that little core and row sequence. But let me know, did this go by faster than you thought? I think it probably did, but tell me. You know, most of my workouts, a lot of my workouts, we do timed intervals and we do sets, circuits. You know what to expect. We give you a little preview. But sometimes I just like you to have to go with the flow, hang out with me, be surprised. And I think you're surprised at how fast it went and how good you feel right now. I hope so. Make sure you get some more stretching on your own. We do just a little bit here to cool it down, but please get your mobility and flexibility throughout the rest of your day and your week. Check out all the links in the description below. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and check out the Body Fit by Amy app. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your no repeat dumbbell burn workout. Great job, everybody.